Okay, nice of you to join our YouTube channel again. I'm Mickey from Eagle Survival Training. I'm here on the beach in Amineka on the Costa Tropical. I'm just going to show you guys a few methods on how to make some solar stills and water stills to desalinate water. Okay, now I've got here, okay, I have cheated in a way because the beaches down here are pretty clean, okay, and it's not your typical sort of desert island scenario beach. So they're very good down here in Granada. They keep all the beaches nice and clean and I couldn't find much rubbish. But I've picked up rubbish from the bins on the way here. Um, a few things that I've just picked up which you normally find washed up on most desert islands around the world. Okay, which is a lot of rubber. A lot of tubing, a lot of um, tin foil, metal casing, plastics, cans, bottles, um, etc. And that's all I've got in these bags. So here we've got a couple of empty Coke bottles. Uh, these are pretty small, you can do with bigger glass bowls, you know, they'd be better off to do. But what you'd want to do is you'd want to take one of these, all right, down to the sea edge, here. And you want to get some salt water in it. And now, so that when you lay it on its side, it'll come to the lip like that okay and that's about right I mean of course you're talking a very small amount of water here that you're actually going to distill but it's quite a quick way of doing it so what you've got I mean if you don't have um, anything like this you can always build it up with sand or rocks uh, this is uh, you know quite a quite a cheating method of doing it actually so what you do okay here you're gonna fill one of them with some um, some stones and some sand. You're going to put this up on a. You're going to put this on top of a fire. So you're going to have your fire going here. All right, underneath it, you'll get some rocks off the beach. You'll put them in the middle of your fire. Okay, and you'll put the tin on top of them. So you've got the fire going around them. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't advise you to have a real high flame fire going and roaring because it will probably just start to catch this um, this aluminium. You don't need it that much. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your bottle, which has got the water in, okay? You're gonna lay that, okay? Nice and as flat as you can. You're, you're gonna remember that this is a fire that's gonna be going here at the moment. So this is gonna be a nice area. Then here, you're gonna build up another area, let's say just with a rock on, okay? And then what you've got here, all right? You'll move this as close as you can up to the mouth of the other bottle there now it's all obvious now what's going to happen so what's going to happen now is this is going to get hot the water the sea what the sea salt water in here all right it's going to start evaporating evaporating condensing at the top of the bottle and it's going to run into this bottle here the steam by the by the heat of the fire the can condensed water the condensation itself is going to get pushed into that other water into that other bottle sorry and then what you're going to have here form at the bottom of the bottle is pure drinking water and you can literally just pick it up drink it and put it back down and they're still condensing in there depends how much you might need but as you can see you know an average person you're going to need at least two or three liters of water a day in the heat and this is going to produce very little but if you have this going all day and if you've got a bigger bottle or maybe two metal bottles um, two of those good you know, one litre, two litre, two litre, one and a half litre metal drinking water bottles you get for drinking, and you put them on there, you can desalinate more water at a time. So that's one really good method. Okay, another way, method of filtering your water is you use, use this one using dirty water, clean, dirty water that you want to filter by condensation or salt water again. So if you're lucky enough to find a bit of tubing on the beach somewhere, um, old PVC tubing, an old hose or something, which you will find in most deserted beaches, the amount of rubbish that there is. You get yourself, uh, you know, 15 centimetres of that, even 10 centimetres. As long as it fits into the bottle quite well. If it doesn't fit in perfectly, if you've got some duct tape, you can always duct tape it up. So what you do again, go down. some salt water all right now this is a solar still 
So this is the type of thing you want to set up with 15 or 20 of these units on the beach. Make sure you don't ever put these type of units too close to the shoreline. Because what you're going to do, leave them there all day. The tide's going to come in. You're going to go back there in the evening, collect your bottles, and they'll all be washed away. Okay, so always remember, okay, keep them well up the beach and in the sun, away from shady areas. Here you want to stick your tubing just to the top there, like that. And here, you put this one all the way in. Let me just do it as reverse. Okay. And that's what you're going to do there. Now what's going to happen, all right, is the sun's going to start heating these bottles up. Typical solar still idea. It's going to condensate the water, it's going to start evaporating, it's going to go up into the tube and it's going to form and come down and start collecting here. That tube it fits perfectly into the mouth of the bottle, perfectly. You're not going to lose water through the mouth of the bottle of the tube, okay? And then all you're going to do later on, okay, is you'll want to take it out like so, collecting the water in there, tip it, take that out and drink the fresh water. And if you've got, if you're lucky enough to find 50 bottles on the beach and if you set up and the hosing you set up 25 of these it's a bit difficult if you just do it like this without any hosing because the water's just going to condensate into there and fall back into the salt water you need to have this little idea here when i first saw this i thought well, that's a really clever idea because you never would have thought that really but if you've got that little bit of hosing coming up through there that's actually catching the water for you as well so it's quite easy without using the hosing effect that i've just shown you with the hose coming out the top to put the bottle in is you can always you know put the bottle at an angle all right so that the water is actually okay sitting not coming through the neck here and you get another bottle here all right and you can tr put it like that so you can get the mouth perfectly right if you've got a bit of tape tape it even better you know what i mean it's quite nice um if you haven't well then you can just build the area up like so and Find a way, perfect little way of getting those two mouths together like that. And then what happens during the day, okay, if it's a windy day, be careful, the bottle's gonna blow away. Put some, put a couple of sticks over the top of it or a weight to keep it in place. Or like I say, if you're lucky enough to have some tape, tape the mouth together. And what's gonna happen, that's gonna start collecting fresh water, okay, just there in the neck of the empty bottle during the day. You can see already we've been on the beach only a while. This bottle's got condensation building and building up in it already. And trust me, in the sun, problem is these are going to take a good, good few hours to work. You've got to remember, you're always better off if you're in a survival situation and think I need water, set up as many of these as you can. Don't rely just on one or two. They won't give you enough water that you need. So use all the rubbish you can to make as many water stills as you can, whether they need fire or whether they're just solar, and get them going to collect you as much water as you can. If there's no rainwater available or no fresh water sources available, this is your only methods of getting yourself some decent water in your body. So as many of these sort of ideas that you can learn and know, they can save your life. Okay, so I'm going to do another one now. I'm just going to show you the materials I'm going to use and I'm going to set it up. All right, I don't want the video to be too long and waste too much time. Um, so basically you've got some plastic, okay, an old plastic bag, some plastic sheeting if you're lucky enough, okay, and a can or two cans if you're lucky enough. All right, okay. Um, a few stones. Ah, oh, there's an interesting thing. I can come back to that in a minute and show you guys something. I should put this in here. That could be a little bonus for our um, for our video today. I'll just remind me about that in a sec. All right, so um, I've got some stones here, some plastic sheeting, cut the cans. I'm going to show you how to do a solar still again. Okay. Go, yeah. Okay, so I've dug myself a small hole here. I'm going to put the first can in there. What I'm going to do is um, halfway fill this can up with salt water. You can see, put that in there. All right, I'm gonna take a little can, okay, that I found a beer on the beach. I'm gonna get a stone or a couple of stones, a decent weight stone, put that in there because I don't want it to float around in my salt water. And I'm gonna put that in there like that. I'm gonna get my plastic, all right? I'm gonna put that over, okay? The hole I've dug and I'm gonna use stones around the edge to hold the sheeting in place. Now, if I run out of stones here, then so be it. 
Okay, more or less. Okay, nearly run out of stones there. And then what I'm going to do, just to make sure that the water, when it's condensating on the inside, runs downwards and into the can, which is in the middle of the hole, I'm going to use a couple of little stones just to weigh down, or a better one here, just to weigh the plastic down. And I'm going to push the plastic so that everything, if you come with the camera quickly, come over the top of here, you're going to see what I mean. The can is not touching the plastic here. Come down and actually have a look at it. Okay, the can's not touching the plastic there. Okay, and if it does, then just pull it a little bit tighter. Okay away put your stone in there to, to weigh the plastic down so it's at the right level and now what's going to happen is the water's going to condensate hit the plastic at the top and roll down and drip into the can and then what you're going to do later on in the evening is you're going to come along okay and you're going to take all your rocks off try not to get loads of crap into the can pick this up okay drink it okay put some more water in there Put it back and reset it. And the more of these that you can have on a beach while you're trying to set up uh, a camp or trying to search the area to try and find a, um, a good water supply or a spring, okay? And you're just gonna have to uh, live off the beach for now. I remind you again, as many of these um, ways of setting up and collecting or turning salt water into water, drinking water or rainwater or condensation, or solar still, okay, then just remember, the more you can do, the more likely it is that you're gonna live and survive. You gotta remember, keep them away from the shoreline. line, don't get them washed away, okay? All right, now, just as a bonus, if you remember that can top that I found, okay, just here on the beach, a really good way, all right, of making a fishing hook up, all right, of, um, if you need to, uh, if you need to go fishing, and you find some fishing line, but you don't have a hook, well, out of a tin can like this, okay, you can make a really good fishing hook like this. But what you're gonna wanna do now, okay, is you're gonna wanna get it on a stone, all right, and you're gonna wanna start sharpening it up so that you get an actual sharp edge on it. And if you just bear with me a couple of seconds, it doesn't take long. And now, if you look, now if you look, I have, you want to come closer with the camera? Closer. I have a really good fishing hook there that can take about a pound, a pound and a half, maybe a kilo fish on it. So always remember a good way to make a hook is out of tin can tops.